Uh, I'm glad you waited for me this yeah, week. So, that was nice. Yes, uh, hello. Welcome to another, another round of Ray's Boom Boom Room. I'm your host, Ray Mancini, here with my ace corner man, cut on man, time. Mike Case. On time. He, on time. Right. This time last time we, we missed him because he was out. No, he didn't get him into like the, after a second or third round. So, <laughs> you know, he just kind of walked in. And went into, very special guest today. We're, we're continuing our shows. We're talking about entrepreneurship, Entre young entrepreneurs, people from Youngstown, Warren, in the uh, Tri uh, County uh, area, people who've taken a shot in the area, who've stayed in the area, taking shots on the area. Uh, we're here at the Sunrise Inn. Our, our buddy Kenny Hedaris is invested in downtown Warren. Mm -hmm. Tremendous. I did not know how much until he just told me so. <laughs> you know, yeah. He took me for a tour down in downtown Warren. Kenny, Kenny, you gotta drop, you gotta drop the nuts. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. I'm talking about you, now we're talking to you. Talking about you. Now now we're talking oh, no, no, you. We, we don't see you, but we can hear you. You know, that's okay, that's all right. Anyhow, that's all right, that's all right. That's all right. See, we're, it don't matter, my phone, it may go off. That's the best thing about this show. We're off the cuff, we just fly by the seat of our pants. That's right. And something. Order pizza. There we go, we oh. can't, you gotta order a pizza. Taking orders. But um, anyhow. Uh, here with our special guest Kelly and Warren. Kelly, thank you for coming today. And again, we're this again. What we want to talk about is entrepreneurs, people who've stayed in the community, invested in the community, taking shots in the community, such as yourself. Now, how long have you been uh, a realtor? Thanks for having me, Ray. Um, oh, I've been a realtor for 18 years. 18 years locally. <laughs> Why'd you do it? Why'd you start? Um, I, I say that it's in my blood. My great grandfather was a builder. My grandfather was a real estate attorney and investor. My parents have had real estate licenses, and it's just the conversation mm -hmm. I grew up around. Huh. You know what I like about real estate agents or anybody in that type of job? You only make on what you sell. Yes. No, if you're a hustler, you make good money. Well, that's if what you I want, love if you, about if you're, it. If you ain't a hustler, and you're, then you then you you know you're bust out. You, if you ain't making money, that's because you ain't doing job that's what i love about it and that's what i tell new people as they come into the business that you this can be everything you want it to be whatever you put into it you get out yeah, of it that's exactly right do that just <laughs> the company i work for say i work for a, a real estate company do they hand me different locations like these are my properties um if or? you work for our company we provide leads to you most mm -hmm. brokerages don't and not territories or areas you're licensed for the whole state of ohio okay um we particularly run about an hour in any direction of Youngstown. Okay. So to the PA border, all of Mahoning, Trumbull, Columbiana, and just a little bit outside of that. In your case, Mike, if it was you, uh -huh. you'd be at all the low-lying areas. <laughs> well, yeah. low, and you ain't, and you're gonna be, you're gonna Those be scrounging. People. Those are you're my gonna, people. You saw Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? You know, you're, you're gonna be, you're gonna be Shelly Levine of the group, man. I understand. You ain't getting no, <laughs> you ain't getting no leads. I'm not getting the top We're leads. We're keeping, getting no leads, saying? that's it. The bottom of the barrel? <laughs> Crap. But, you know, um, <laughs> talk about those that we just said earlier. I just recently uh, uh, bought a villa at home. I call it villa because it's, it's, it's a house. Well, it is, but I'm learning terminology. You know, yes. difference between a villa and a house. Villas are littler houses. Yeah. The small house. Condo? Yeah. 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 condo? Well, no, it's well, actually, are actually no, can be not, a good a size. Oh, yeah? It's a standalone. Okay. Now, from my understanding, was on villas, you own the inside, they own the outside. Right. Not in this one. I actually own the land. Okay. So well, I wouldn't. Yeah. Bubba, was that good? Yeah. Yep, a pud. Mm -hmm. I, 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 okay, so that's good. So it's a perfect size. I don't want no more than 2,000 square feet. I want a first floor of living, but we do have a basement. And that was the difference between where we were staying. And when I came here, you know, when we came back five years, it'll be five years, the 24th of this month. Oh, no kidding. Like Monday. It was well, yeah. five Happy years. Happy anniversary ago. back. Yeah, <laughs> about that. Yesterday was five years. And um, it was snowing like crazy. I'll never forget. Snowing cold. It was ugly, man. It was ugly. But. Um, <laughs> when I got back, before we come back, it was within three weeks we decided to get, come back. And we had a fun place. So my wife's uh, son found an apartment. He said, look, you know, great, let's move in. Mm -hmm. And then we'll figure it out. And I've said, repeat it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, that see, would probably make fun of Ken. I probably mm -hmm. said, you know, I, that's the next meeting I have. Yeah. That ain't going to work. <laughs> that's probably his realtor. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, um, that in three weeks I decide, you know, 30 years of memorabilia, is there to come back to young stuff, ship back. And so we moved into place, and I said when we got into the place, I don't want to, moving across town ain't no bargain. Moving across country, so the next stop is from there to Calvary. And anybody from out there That's knows, an easy move. Calvary <laughs> is, the, is, the, is the local Catholic cemetery. Yeah. So in other words, I ain't moving again. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I shouldn't say because if I find a place I like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Have you unpacked uh, from the first move? Uh, well, a lot of my stuff, no, because not all of it. It's been staying in. We, I, I had rented a, 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 I had a rent a like a storage area. Storage area. Mm -hmm. Now it's in downstairs at her son's house, because remember, but yeah, we now we will. We got a wonderful. Now the cellar wasn't their building, but they didn't finish the cellar. I said basement. I said that's okay because I want certain things, so I got I got somebody who's going to do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I'm saying is though, you, you build us, and, and I didn't want to build necessarily because you could find a lot of good properties, right. a lot of good properties for a good price. But when I came back, and we were looking, young son, God bless him, man. The town's on the climb because the prices, I, I was looking at areas. I remember what the housing mm -hmm. market was when I was here. Mm -hmm. I ain't been back in 30 years. I get that. I went back, and I'd say, well, you know, we check out some place, and they told me the price. They go, how much? <laughs> they tell you, go, for him is here? It, is it me? When did, what, I'm not good. Thank God. You know what? Thank our, God it all went up. But when, since when? Our values are <laughs> up because we're in a good market and a good economy and everything right now. And 30 years makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. But we're still affordable compared to the Absolutely. rest of the nation. You well, know, still no, more no bang dispute. for your buck in Youngstown <laughs> any day. There's no dispute about that. And if you're going to pay 300000 or whatever, you're going to get a house worth 300000 Right. You know, and it isn't like... But you know, a lot of what I, what I noticed when I was in LA, what I loved about it, this is kind of what we this we have now, because I won't tell them this was one. It's all everything was open. I never had experience it when I went in. Everything was open, so it wasn't small choppy rooms like in Youngstown. Beautiful homes, but yeah. rooms, a lot of rooms, but small and choppy. Here, you walk in, it was all open. And, oh man, I love that. So I keep saying I call it California style, but I guess that's more contemporary. Yeah. With the word whatever it is now, everything's more open, right? And not doing more the formal sitting room because not a lot of formal dining rooms anymore. Why? So they you have an open area and you have the uh, uh, island people yeah. used to uh, eat at the island most of the time. Yeah, yeah, my house we've got a formal <laughs> dining room. We've got the kitchen table area in the kitchen, yeah. and we've got a breakfast bar. And yeah. everybody always is at that island breakfast mm -hmm. bar. And and nobody sits at either table. And, and correct, me, uh, Kelly, if I'm wrong, uh, most people I, mean, I notice that when I go to houses down. I remember my own, my mother's house. We had a small house, but in my, our house when we were out in LA and, and, and entertained when my kids were small. People come, you 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 gravitate towards the kitchen area, mm -hmm. the that's living right. areas. So that's why I like having an open kitchen. So it's all one room. It's one big room. The the TV room and it's yeah. all one room. And it's very big, and I, I love that because that's what people tend to yeah bring the family you, together. And all your experience though, when you recommend more like a condo for someone with his advanced age <laughs> and all the yard work he's going to have to do. And things <laughs> like I that. Don't, no, no, I do no yard work. No, you're not? That you is true. And my advanced age, yeah, oh, I'm in the third quarter. There's no doubt. <laughs> I'm almost close to the fourth. Uh, but, <laughs> but I'm not doing no yard work, which is what I like about this, uh, the, the villa. The villa. They, they do the outside. They, okay. Yeah, Are you going to name your house? Some what? people name oh, I always name it. I always did. I was, yeah, I'm going to get out to think of a name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, I, what was your old house name? Uh, what, uh, uh, old man, oh. House of the Mets. Rising Sun. <laughs> Do you have a no, name? No, Villa Mancini. Oh, really? Villa Mancini. Well, now we got to come up with something yeah, better. Yeah, yeah why? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, just yes. We'll think of something. We'll think of something. But uh, I'm not going to name my house. No, no. no. I, uh, I, I think named my car. Wait, you got cars. You'll never name your car. No, I don't. I always name my cars. Car. I did. I always name cars. I had, my first one was a yellow red with a black the yellow jacket. You know, and and you know, and and then the, then the second one was a blue heavy Chevy. You know, you know, you know the blue machine. You know the blue the blue machine. You know whatever I got. I, can't I haven't something. named this yeah. car yeah. yet, but uh, my yeah. last car, my GPS would yell at me all the time. It would never do. I'd say call Jim, and it would say like four seven Q, and I'm like that's not what I said. Uh -huh. So I told the kids I need like a name that mm -hmm. I like somebody that I wouldn't like, like a, a frenemy mm -hmm. name. So we named her Vanessa. V mm. Vanessa, I'm not doing frenemy. Frenemy. <laughs> right. Always like yelling the, at that car. You have to be nice to him, but you really don't like him. <laughs> that kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Kelly, no, what, what, what's selling? What seems to be selling well in Yaxa? Because like you said, the, house, the housing, uh, uh, the affordability to live here yeah. in this area is wonderful, man. A lot of bang for the buck, as you said. What, what, you know, family homes. Uh, Our uh, average uh, sale price right now is about 125 for the area as a whole. Each community yeah, goes a little bit sure. different, but overall, we're about 125, and that's. From about 110 to 200, those houses are moving. Those are affordable and nice and move up for many people and 
those are are the highest selling and then as far as floor plan ranches the ranch homes are always moving <laughs> that's exactly i got first floor living is i wanted a ranch I didn't, yeah. I didn't is there a is there an area where when one goes on the market you're like that's it, this will be on in a week. Well, there's even in, in each little community, like in Boardman, there's different <laughs> little neighborhoods of Boardman that sell in days, yeah. you know. Canfield sells quick always. Yeah. Different little communities like McDonald. Everybody loves McDonald. Yeah. Those are loyal it's, people. It's, They're staying in McDonald. It's, it's, they it's, move it's quick. It's Mayberry. It's Mayberry. Yeah, right. I mean, the I mean, kids still walk home from school it in is. McDonald. It, it is. Think, it's like it's Mayberry. Like, you know, it's like Chagrin Falls in Cleveland. That's like, uh, that's downtown, you know, Mayberry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, I understand. Um, so those type of homes, so yeah, I, Poland is wrong for me. So yeah. like the, the Clanfield, Boardman. Clanfield. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, that's what I said. Clanfield. <laughs> Clanfield, <laughs> Boardman, Poland. That, 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 yes. that's all as well, right? They sell yeah. well. But like you said, there's, there's, I was actually looking at Boardman area off of South Avenue in the president, President's uh, Street, mm -hmm. Presidential Run. Yeah, those President, are nice. Presidential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lovely homes out there. Lovely yes. homes. And that's a great convenience area. You yes. hop on the freeway, <laughs> right. dining, shopping, everything the you arteries need are right, right there. there. Exactly. And then I found out that the next teacher, there was the house I was looking at, next, lived across the street, next principal. I said, ah, can't do that. Can't do that. <laughs> nah, I tell you, I'm back. No, 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 actually, I'm good friends. friends. I'm actually good friends with them. <laughs> it was actually, but it was a night going, nah. mm -hmm. but, uh, but that's one reason it's funny you said that. Where I live now, we're living, actually moving just on the other side. You know, we're going up to five points. Now it's the turnabout, which is crazy, man. If you, I'll tell you, you know, you do a roundabout. I you experienced in LA and all that stuff. This one is very, uh, is very intri uh, intricate. Now, which one is it? Five points over that way? What's the word I'm saying? Intrinsic? You know, yeah. intricate, intricate. Yeah, intricate. That's the yeah. word, intricate. <laughs> yeah. But, it, but, and, and that's the, but I'm saying, you go and you just think you're going around. No, man, just here, here. I mean, it's. Yeah. And people got to watch. Stops. It's going to be confusing. Be careful there. Be careful. By the fireplace. Yeah, right. Oh, there. the five yeah. points. Oh, yeah. 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 Five yeah, the five points. points. Yeah. Now it's, yeah. But it's my. The, an artery goes off here, it goes off there, it goes off there. You got to be. The people got to be careful. And it's a little. And they have some confusing. construction going on there Still right now, on too. One, yeah. One called North Lamar Road. That's yeah. the last yeah. part. But it's better than it was. Oh, you ain't kidding. I don't got to go through the. The, the car wash, down thing, like what you had yeah. to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's actually, I had to do that. But anyway, um, so the homes in the area, and this, this is what I love, <laughs> you know, people, we've heard this many times, people who work in Cleveland, Pittsburgh, they actually get homes in this area because it's, you know, oh, yeah. 50 to a 60 minute drive. Well, especially if you're somebody who, <laughs> you know, a sales career or some kind of executive that, that needs to travel both, that right. has a territory, it, it is the best place to live. It's the most affordable, easy access to hop on the freeways. I, I remember when he said that Northeast Ohio, our, this area, in Western PA, but our area was, excuse me, the cheapest in the, in, in the country for per capita. Mm -hmm. Is that still the truth? I believe so. I mean, and you, like you said, get bang for the buck. Um, you know, I, I remember um, my, my ex-wife, she bought a home in West Hollywood, West Hollywood, I'm sorry, West L.A. years ago, 745000 It was not the more than what I grew up in. Right. It's like a thousand square feet. No, was that mom's big mom's house? Mom's house was like a thousand square feet, 900 plus on Purdue. Well, how big was it? About like a thousand square feet? It wasn't that big. That's 750 because of the area. You pay for the area, zip code. Yeah. West LA, you know. So that's like oh, 700 bucks a, whole a block square foot. You I'm can do new, that's like 700 bucks a square foot. Yeah. You can do new construction here for 150 a square. Well, I mean, I've got new construction. They're building it and they're banging yeah. me pretty good. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But, uh, you know, it is what you, you get what you want, like I said. But here's the thing I'm going in, you know, we were talking about last week. You get this, they give you the package. The A pack, they give, no one give you the A, the B, or the, you get the B package, right? When you're but building? The, well, yeah, we give you the B package, okay. you know? But if you want to upgrade, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, so you upgrade. Well, say, but we give you an allowance. They give you like a 10,000, what you want, 10,000, buy a seat table, that's it. Yeah. And, you know, $10,000 allowance, okay. That's what, okay, we'd like to have that. Well, well that's an upgrade. Thirteen. Oh, mom's, okay. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. Well, I, but, you know, that's not very big, but but 745, you know. Yeah. But, uh, but the area is because of the area. Yeah. Great area. But, Seven hundred forty-five thousand. Well, Mom's almost <laughs> twice. Well, no, what thousand what square. Square. <laughs> or what is worth now? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because that area, the whole area, because that? down there by uh, the Santa Monica Airport, Snap, Snap, Snapchat bought that area. Uh, Snapchat, yeah. Snapchat bought the whole area. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying is, but wow. I'm just saying for yeah. 
1,100 square feet. Yeah. Um, but what I was saying, so now they give it, when you look at these houses, they give you the A package, B package, you give it a B package. So you, for, but they give you $10,000 to do what you want. Great. Want that? Well, no, that's an upgrade. I always tell my clients okay. when you're building, you need to give yourself a 25% yeah. budget, 25% yeah. on time uh, and on money. And on, on top go, of and on right. top of what you're yeah. going to spend, right? You so, spend more. so if your package is 300, <laughs> you better plan on 25% more than that yeah. because you will want the better yeah. flooring, you That's will exactly. want to add on a deck, you will want nicer That's light right. fixtures, you will want an upgrade in the bathroom, and then on time they say we're going to be done in six months. It's going to be nine or right. twelve. You know? it was, it was funny <laughs> so. you said that because that's exactly what my 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 business manager told me the same thing, and the funny thing is, he says you could you know if you're going to build it, it's a headache. But actually, they had started building the house, so it, it was okay. Uh, well, we got what we want, but the, what I was getting to, they give it a package, like you said. We, but I, well, that's well, that's part of you have to upgrade. It's we time and upgrade. money, though, and because go, you'll say I want those light fixtures that yes, cost more money, yes. and then oh, we got a special order them. You got to wait three yeah. more weeks for well, them to the come in. Is, it's going to set us back. When I, got, when I told him when he said to me, so well, that's an upgrade. Yeah, I said wait a minute, yeah, you give me an allowance, right? He says yeah, isn't the definition of allowance allow me to do what I want? <laughs> that, and I mean, and they go, yeah, I'm going to say no. that back but to my next builder. No, <laughs> then no. So you give me an allowance, but I can't have that because that's I have to upgrade. I have to pay for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's with the bad? Well, I don't get that. <laughs> well, we give you on divided appliances. Ten k buys you a table and chairs. I don't know what I mean. What does it buy you now? <laughs> you know, you got you got you got stoves that are three thousand. You got the, mm -hmm. you got you got if you want the right washer and dryer, you want the right uh, 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 refrigerator. I mean, that's just unbelievable. That don't go too far. Is my point. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. How about the business itself? Can like when you're, I'm sure you're hiring people all the time, and yes. I'm sure there's some turnover in that business too, because it seems like there's a lot of realtors out there. Are you looking for a certain kind of person, or can anyone do it if they just try hard enough and do it? Honestly, the the real estate side, the job side, the paperwork and the filing things, and that can be taught. What I need is somebody who's a good people person, somebody who can talk to people and build relationships and not afraid to go meet new people, you know? So if you've got the right personality for it, I can teach you the rest. So you might yeah. give no shot. But <laughs> I'm not a people person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't actually, take it seriously. Actually, no, actually, I think actually, it's the work ethic. Actually, I think you do go. I think, no, I think you do go. You got, you got, you're a good guy. Push people are right. affable guy. Mm -hmm. People want that. Somebody, you know, and you yeah. got a good sense of humor sometimes. Yeah. But it usually, yeah, <laughs> but you know, I, I think that's all part of it. When you're selling, you got to be like I said, you got to be all of that, right? Right. And um, I always thought I would like that if I, you know, if I had to do my job. I mean, I would like the job of selling because I think I could sell. I always make the joke: I could sell ice cream to an Eskimo because right. I've done it. When a part of selling the f my fights and selling different things, yeah, you know, I've done that. Um, when you're you're selling. Stuff, you're you're, you're yeah. selling your selling yourself, me. your persona. Well, yeah, you know. I, I still like, oh, Who would you God. rather have? Like, if you had to pick a realtor. I, I can only have one of you join yeah, the that's team. It. <laughs> Mike, Mike, I'd want you too. It's okay because I'll get up too. and go. I, I, I don't think this could be a nice because duo here. I'd want you guys because could come in as a team. I'd want you too. Yeah, I'd want you too because you know you got to be able to beat up your realtor. They want me. They say what? Oh hell! Would you say you want? You ain't getting it. How's that? You ain't getting it. That's that would be his you part. Would scare shut your house the, down now. You ain't getting no. <laughs> all the little old lady I, agents that I, you're I, negotiating right. against. I, I, like, my, oh. my, I, 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 you know, I'm pretty. I'm good with people. I, I like to think I'm good people. Good people person. I don't have patience for insensitivity. I don't have patience patience for uh, rude, rudeness. You know, I don't have patience for that. People are look. You can people mess up all the time. I, I, get, I have I have patience yeah. for that. You know, but people are absolutely just rude and nasty and and man abrasive. Mm -hmm. We'd have a hard time. I'm, yeah, all kinds I'm, of people yeah. out there. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and my and job, you can work with all If I was a salesman, if I'm if the realtor, you got people who are buying because because they want to, they do abuse you, can and, w and will. That one, that one, that one, that one be, I wouldn't work for me, Mike. No. But There's so also some really wonderful ones. So I would take it because yeah. when you're in television, you, you take all that stuff. That's right. And you yeah. just be nice about it. That's yeah. all you can do. Uh, what about? Let me ask you this. Like you're sitting at home, it's a Friday night. You're getting home. I get home a little bit late. I'm, I flip on the TV. There's that infomercial, and that rich dude is flipping houses. And he is making a killing, and he's got a boat, and there's girls on his boat. <laughs> and he says it's easy, and he's going to have a seminar. He's got three workbooks. And by five months later, I'm going to be rich. How realistic, how <coughs> hard is it, especially in the area we live in, to do it? Can anyone do it? Can you do it? Well, yes, anybody can invest in real estate and become wealthy through it. Those systems, though, usually when they're sound too good to be true, they are, mm -hmm. you know. Is there, um, a, can you do a system? 
well, there's lots of systems. There's actually now with the Internet, you know, it's easier than it was 20 years ago when you saw those commercials and it was like buy my CD because yeah. now there are networks of groups and there are investors who just give hard money lending. So you don't need your money because you can use their money, but mm -hmm. you need to know the right people and have the right business strategy to be able to get that and use it. Can you, should you do a seminar then? Would people come to it? I, I bet. I'm I, just throwing I, out yeah. ideas. I think it Let's might be a good a idea. Let's plan a seminar, Mike. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. Now, one of the new ways I've heard with their financing us is the land contracts, mm -hmm. right? So one of the places we, when we were looking at a house, I said, I said, well, would you be interested in land contract? Because my, my credit, I banged it up. What's, a, what's it up. a land contract? And, correct me if I'm wrong. They, Kelly would own the house. Okay. I, I don't have the money to get to the bank. So a lot of young couples, like I know a lot, a lot of places. A friend of mine does this in Arizona. The young couples, they don't have the, the, the they don't have to build up a network of, of wealth network or, or good credit, mm -hmm. so they can't go to the bank and get a loan. Kelly can, so but I rent from Kelly, just like I'm renting, but I own it. She has it, but what if I miss the payment? It's her keeps fault. It. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Keeps it, it's it? basically a rent to own. Rent to own, so, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. The person who owns it would continue to own it, but would almost become more like the bank. That's mm -hmm. it. And the person who's buying it would be the buyer and become the owner of it. They're re they're paying it off. Right. right. So every month, if you're making a five hundred dollar payment, maybe a hundred's going to taxes and insurance, and maybe a hundred is becoming your equity in the property, and then the other three hundred, just like if you had a mortgage payment, and that's going to interest at the bank, would go to interest to the owner. Um, and so over time, you would pay down your debt on mm -hmm. it and you'd build up equity on it and then at the end of a period you would own it and it can be 15 or 30 years like mortgages mm -hmm. but a lot of times with the land contracts recently they do um, a balloon at the end so they'll do a two-year or a four-year land contract mm -hmm. and at the end of that two or four years you need to go take out a loan and refinance it into your name and pay off the owner so that they can get out of the picture mm -hmm. that's what we're seeing more of these days well, you know, so when I went there I said you know I said if this was this time next year I'm gold right now you know uh, and, and they said, well, Ray, we really don't think that would work for you. I go, no, no, no. It would work for me. And so I'm bringing it up. Mm -hmm. If it don't work for you, right. that's, well, it really don't work for us. Well, then why don't you just say that? Right. <laughs> but it works for me because I'm telling you. That's a great idea for that's me. A, because I've got a friend of mine that he suggested to me, you should ask him about that. And then he explained to me what it was. I said, great. So he said, rent on. You know, with the rent owns and the land contracts, it always depends on the market. Right now, we're in a strong seller market, so less people are willing to do them. Right. In a down uh, seller market, then sellers need to get rid of their houses and right. they're stale and they're sitting yeah. on the inventory long, so they're more willing to do a land contract. Hmm. How about when you're when you're first starting out and they tell you to put twenty percent down? Um, you don't need twenty percent down these days. It's smart. You're going to have change? more equity Did, in the property. Was it ever like that? And was I crazy uh, back then? I mean, I believe 15, that years, years yes, ago? I believe that in the seventies and eighties there was more of a need for the seven twenty percent down mm -hmm. and more of that um, responsibility, if you will. Well, now you can get in sometimes zero down. A lot of times three and a half percent down. That's FHA. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, well, There's even California five and ten percent down conventionals. Was, California was twenty percent, right? When I came back, so I said twenty. Well, you don't have to. Put, this is what you said. Yeah. And I said, oh, don't. Great. I didn't know that. I'm not. Or yeah. should I? <laughs> if I can, should I? Well, if you it's have good, the money, yeah. it builds up but the equity up. in your property sooner. It, it yeah. saves bring, some money for you. Yes. And your mortgage payments down. Yes. Yeah. You don't have PMI. A lot of times, when you have less than and twenty percent into a property, you're paying PMI. Tell you not to have that at all costs. Like, don't do PMI if you can help. Well, it. because it's just money that you're throwing it's away. Away. It's an insurance yeah. for the bank. It's uh -huh. insuring their investment in your property. But it could be a dollars a month or something that is not going to your interest and not paying down your mortgage and not it's just going to them you go. got it so if you're going to make a score happen then you say hey, look, i'm going to put x amount more on the house then that P it pmi goes away right right basically but that's yeah i just i'm learning all the terminology now Mike. Yeah. no i know i, <laughs> I, I didn't know i, I didn't know any stuff you know i don't remember but uh, so give me, give me, yeah i didn't know anything because mm -hmm. you know because my business people did all that <laughs> yeah you, you know, know I, uh, I just want to Open the door and move in. Yeah. What the, the biggest surprise to me was the, the big, and I'll just say it, and you don't have to agree, the scam of the title bureau mm -hmm. or the title people. They make money no matter what. Well, and they're not doing anything. They're just signing a couple forms and stuff, and you got to pay them lots of money. So what to they're do doing that. is behind the scenes, they're mm. investigating the title to make sure that there's no cloud on it or no issues, or that somebody didn't go to Vegas or gamble it off or uh -huh. have some ex-wife that still owns part of the house, stuff like that. Okay. 
So they're, they're earning their keep there. And then they're also doing a title insurance to make sure that if you're selling your house to Ray, that Ray's not buying some problem from you, that he's getting a clean title. So that, more than just the here, sign these papers, which they do that in yeah. too, but their value is in that searching behind the scenes. I guess that's what there's, 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 that's what's the price of mission right there. Yeah. yeah. There was, I when guess. you said scam, I was thinking there Go was ahead. a case a couple of years back where I guess a title attorney took people's money and ran off with it. Oh, really? So the state of Ohio now requires People title companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah go figure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Aww. know that it was local, yeah. but yeah. state of Ohio requires on every transaction, the title company has to offer you an additional title insurance policy, ensuring that they're not going to take your check and run off with it. Uh-huh. So uh, <laughs> you get insurance on the insurance. Right. Bam, be that. Yes. No. You get your title insurance, you get additional yes. title insurance. Most well. people turn it down. <laughs> so. No, 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 no. Now let's get back to the office because most people now, no one of you has seen you. I, how did you meet Barbara Corcoran? Oh. Now we go. I'm going to go to the chase. Barbara. I mean, people were. Were saying, you on Shark Tank? I was not on the Shark Tank. <laughs> no. Have you ever no. been to the Shark Tank studios? No. Has no, Barbara I'm, invited Barbara, you to her home? Been there? No, I've been to Barbara Studios what? in New York. Okay. Oh, he was, my son was just taping. He went to Shark Tank? He went taping a month ago to Shark Tank. Shark just to watch? In the audience? Yeah, just to watch. Well, yeah. Is was there Barbara an audience? There that I didn't day? even know there well, was an audience. You could, so, yeah, now so I feel bad. Come something. over here and talk into this. <laughs> I know you got chicken wings in your mouth, but <laughs> nobody can hear you, and <laughs> that would have been <laughs> bad. This is my son, Leonardo yeah. Mancini. Yeah. Thank God you brought him, right? No need for introduction. All right. <laughs> um, so you go to Shark Tank. Which yeah. is filmed where? Sony Studios. Okay. In Hollywood, California, or Burbank. In, in Culver, or City. Culver City. Culver City. In California. All right. right. In For us, we don't Sony. know what the hell that well, is. But All right, anyway. West L.A. West L.A. Yeah, okay. All right, here, let me get you a chance. Oh, you're coming in. in. I didn't want to Fool. Yes. <laughs> well, I was just asking you a quick question. Yeah. Church. Yeah. Yeah. Just a quick question. Uh, <laughs> all right, so you go to Shark Tank. Yeah. Who's on? Who are the sharks? Uh, Mark Cuban. Uh-huh. I record that. Barbara was there? She's not She's always short there. Hair, right? Short, yeah. uh, blonde hair, there. but there's a long blonde hair too. Um, I don't remember the full African point, American I guy. The dude with the, uh, I don't know. The bald guy. Bald guy. Yeah. Mr. Wonderful. Bald white guy. Mr. Yeah. Thank you. Mr. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Him. And yeah. Well, Did, were you impressed? Was not Damon, not I was Damon. impressed with a any of the people that came well, on. Well, so I, I'm assuming because uh, they edit, what, an hour, thirty minutes? I don't. Yeah. Know. yeah. The show's an hour. I think it's an hour long. Hour long. So they fit as many as they can throughout the week. So. I think they do one. How many did you get to watch? One. What because were they? they took like, one took like an hour. Just to pitch? Just to pitch, yeah. And they, get, they like really conversed with the guy. And What was he selling? They were selling, it was, a, it was two guys, two young guys, and they were selling uh, RVs, like modern RVs. So basically like a big van, just like a regular big van, and they fix it up into an RV, where now people are, uh, now people live in. Yeah. The it's tiny not that big. It's not phase. like a huge yeah. RV. It's like okay. a the modern what yeah. did the sharks say uh they, they're impressed yeah um so i l i left before they were but they're all impressed like you got bored and just left uh no so my friend who invited me she had to go back to uh work oh okay yeah so i just walked out with her so mm -hmm. did you hear barbara corcoran's like behind the scenes she is behind the scenes like off camera uh, she is sarcastic is she, and funny and she's she? got a trucker's mouth no, yeah i was you, hoping you'd you say like that. look at her and you're like did that just come out of her and she does well, no, i mean i i, I watch you you know I, I, it was a great pitch for you that you yeah, have someone like that it's yes. a great pitch for you that you know, some, you know you like barbara corcoran does these commercials my friend kelly and well beautiful boom i wouldn't want it you know <laughs> and um so uh, I, I <laughs> when I watch that, you know, I'm always intrigued by why, how these people got on. And, and how did she make them? Was it real estate? How she made her money? Yeah, she made her millions in real estate in New York City in the 70s. In the 70s. And back then it was a men's industry. <laughs> so right. I figure that's why she talks the way she oh, does, because yeah, yeah. she yeah. needed to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And how would you tell, her, tell people how you met her? Um, I met her about three and a half years ago um, with my mentoring, my coaching group of real estate agents. There's about 200 of us from across the country, um, one from each major marketplace. And so I'm the Mahoning Valley Youngstown girl. And there's five from the whole state of Ohio. Um, we get together a couple times a year. So in April, we're going back to New York City with Barbara and um, do a convention and, you know, do a little filming and those kind of things. You know, it's funny because I, I had a product I, I, was, I had to patent to, and uh, they said, oh, she get on Shark Tank, Shark Tank. And this was when I first and, and I said, well, we'll see. we were a little farther down the road than, than that. What was I thought? It was, an, uh, it was, an, it was a, it was a, a orthopedic, uh, orthotic insole. 
that was actually you know, in a shoe. It was patent. No, it was an orthotic to put into the shoe. I told you. Yeah, yeah. And so that was you know, it was cured for shin splints. I mean, basically, yeah. you know what, what it was. And it was a great concept, and I, I used them. And to make a long story short, it says we should go on Shark Tank. I said, well, we're a little further down the road than where I thought we were at the time. And um, but one of the things too, correct me if I'm wrong. If you know more about the show, I don't know much about the show. People get on the show because I have people who actually went on the show, invited on the show. And if you go on the show and make your pitch, and they don't pick you, nobody picks you, and you go off, and then somebody says, "Hey, I saw you, somebody buy," and somebody buys your property, they have, they have, they own ten percent of that. The Shark Tank does. Oh, perpetuity because you got seen on Shark Tank. Oh, yeah. They gave you the pitch. They gave you the option. Now, I agree. I said, I have no problem with that. Yeah, I don't know how you, their contracts work, but they I, give I would you, see something like, like that. Somebody with, like the voice mm -hmm. or I, American Idol. If you go under and you don't make it, but you go to self thing, you oh, they get 10% of perpetuity of your catalog hmm. because you got, or the song, whatever it is. Yeah. So I've, I know people who've gone on there to a certain, to a certain level and then they try to get out because they don't want to give up their any their catalog mm -hmm. rights, but it's just but you get see and you get to you know, and I was just interested. I just know, if, but that's what I said with the, with the Shark Tank because any type of shows they get they get they own a piece of your intellectual property for. Forever. I will give you three thousand dollars and ten percent of the <laughs> sole company. Well, well, no, well, yes or no? In. Well, no, no, <laughs> the, pat, the patent run up. Oh, okay. And uh, it's unfortunate because I had you know, oh. well, I had a partner. Who, and he was kind of running it, and we had opportunities, and that became another headache. But the point is, because the, what the U.S. Patent Office says, after 10 years, if you don't got it going, it's it's a hobby, not a business. Ah. That's basically what it, you, can, you can't get off the ground in 10 years. It's a hobby, not a business. Well, how did you go from I met her to she's going to help me with my commercials? She helped a lot of people with commercials? Um, just the ones of us in the group and not all of us. So, okay. uh, uh, you know, the people who, who are her... That's good. Like she's our mentor and our coach and yeah. uh, recommends us. Yeah. And then that's it? Like um, you go shoot one day and then you're good? Well, we, I'm is he yeah. leaving? You already did. Well, he, he wants to eat his wings. No, I'm sorry. I forgot about <laughs> it. I'm sorry. He says, no. He says, no. look at him. Can I go? He wants to go. Is there that's anything else you want to ask him? No, no, no. That's good. Well, I have a lot of questions for him, but it's not his show. If you would come back next Tuesday, stick around, and then we do one with just you. I have a million questions for you. I formally decline your offer. What? Nobody ever declines my offer. Is he going to be involved? No, we don't need him. Well, he's always telling me about the show. We can take him the week off. He's my biggest critic of the show. He watched the show. He told me he doesn't like the show. And he doesn't watch he, it. He doesn't watch it. He, that's that's bad too. And he always says to me, "Simply, we well, we're, right. like, we're open if ideas. Write them down. Write it down and we're, send we're it to our producers, Don yeah. and Jeff. Yeah. They're in charge. But he's we'll, trying, you know, we'll evolve. We don't. I, we'll do whatever I, I, he says. I, I, you know, I always get. Well, I'm sorry. Let's just talk to Kelly. Right that's a whole different conversation. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You, I cut you off. I'm sorry, Kelly. That's you asked her. What was no, I was talking about Barbara Corcoran. But yeah, she ever have long hair? <laughs> Not that I Jesus, man. She wrote a that? book. Huh? She wrote a book in like the '90s, and it was called "If You Don't Have Big Boobs, Wear Ribbons in Your Ponytails." Something like that. That's her advice. That that was the title of her book. <laughs> okay. And, and that was her, you know, fitting in in the men's world of real estate. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So I, uh, I kind of dig that title. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's better than your love, book love, title. Love, love. <laughs> Hey, ben, I agree. I agree. I agree. You know, it's funny. I told you how the book titles come about. I was, I was when, they, when I told you I first heard about it. That's a, that's a whole different show. Mm -hmm. How when, when they she, get the, you know, the book titles, the titles of books though are big, like anything, a movie or thing. It has to capture your attention. Has to. Say, What's that about? I want to go see that. I want to buy that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Did does her has she evolved or do her lessons from the '70s still apply to today? You know, real estate, really, as much as it's changed with technology, it hasn't changed at all. It, it is still a face-to-face, person-to-person. Like, you have to build a relationship. You have to know, like, and trust your real estate agent. You know, mm -hmm. it is, it's a people industry at its core. Yeah. So it, most of that has stayed the same. And could she do it today? Like, could she come to Youngstown and be a real estate agent? Yes, she certainly could. Would she know? No, I would. <laughs> of course you would. She, I would put uh, her on my team in a minute, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mike and now, Ray and Barbara, we're uh, set. Uh, we <laughs> share an office, well, probably. Now, well, uh, tell me, you were telling I'm going back a little bit because I'm, I'm, I mean, I appreciate Barbara, and she's a friend of yours, and God bless me. She's tremendous. I'm sure you get good advice from her. Mm -hmm. But I'm interested in you. What? 
you've stayed here. How long have you had your company? How long? You uh, our company has only been open for a year and a half. So yeah. it's mm-hmm. it's been wonderful. Because you work for other companies you around town, right? Yeah. 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 Well, like anything, you say, well, hey, why should I make for you? I'm selling for you. You ain't doing that. Yeah, nothing. is that hard to do? Let me make for me. Is it hard to go from somebody to doing it yourself? You know what? So 18 years in the business, and it was just a year and a half ago that we opened our doors. And so for all those years before that, well, Jim came into the business in 2014. That's so that's when things started changing. Mm-hmm. Prior to that, I, I was real content being a real estate agent, selling a couple houses, doing my thing. I was also, I had young children so and was right, still having right. children. And right. so it was maybe in a different phase so of my life. So it was a second income for the family, but you were... Or was, yeah. it the, was it the first income or the I, second income? I was usually the breadwinner. Oh, um, okay. we, we're a dual income Dude's household, say, but yeah. 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 And that's what I mean when that's we were talking a, about a, hustling and real estate being commission income. It's been what I've needed it to be every year. Yes. Sometimes that's more than other years, but it's been what I've needed always because I put in the effort right. for what I needed. Right. You know, that's why I said, we said, sometimes you're a breadwinner. That, beautiful. I, everyone thinks, man's got to be a breadwinner. I've said, you know, it's like they think. Yeah, Jim, Jim will tell you, he's the pretty fr- face. I was, I was <laughs> always say, you never walk in front of your wife. I said, you walk next to your wife. But sometimes she leads, and I follow. Sometimes I lead you. That's the collaboration. Same thing in life. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you've got to lead the way. you breadwinner. Sometimes she's got to, she takes the lead. Yep. It's okay. It's what's about with that. Yeah. So then yeah. you decide, how hard was it to take this I mean, there was a lot to do, right? You don't just go, eh, see you guys. So from the time Jim joined me in real estate until um, we opened our own company, over those couple of years, we started forming a team. So we had hired some assistants and transaction coordinators and a marketing director. We hired several other agents to work with us. We were paying for our own marketing and advertising outside of what the brokerage was doing. Mm -hmm. And we even, at that point, went and bought a building to move our team into because we needed space to grow. So that's kind of when we looked around and we thought, we're doing it all, <laughs> you know. Like, yeah, you're why, why are we it. paying money to a franchise when we're doing all this? Right. Um, so that's when we we took the leap, and and all those years that uh, that I never did it or thought about it or anything. As soon as we did it and it was open and the company was up and running, I was like, that was easy. Was it easy? It's not any <laughs> yeah. legal the snafu or anything like, like that. Well, so that's what I was afraid of was the legal <laughs> stuff and the you know insurance and you know mm-hmm. you you have fears about things like that, but what what really were the hardest things were putting the phone and internet in the building. I thought that I would buy phones and plug them into the wall and I would have phones. Yes. But apparently commercial phones don't work oh. this way. You need some million dollar so, system. So, that's <laughs> but, because, so, that, so then for you to take the leap of faith, take a shot, I mean, you have belief in yourself. So you basically, you, 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 the money that you got to start your own was from your, your cells and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you invested your own money into yourself. Right. We've been completely self-funded. That, that's the, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about as an entrepreneur. People take shots in yourself. All the, you got to take shots in yourself. Who else? You know, I, when I moved to California 30 years ago, well, 30 would have been 30, well, 35 years now. People say all the time, don't ever, you know, for a film, don't ever put up your own money. Don't use other people's money. Back in the 80s, I'm sure that was good, maybe, you know, 90s. I said, well, okay, after a few years, you go, well, where's the Brinks truck following me? Right. Ain't nobody coming up with no money for you. If you have, so now and when I have meetings with investors, you as much as you when, do. I'm, when I have investors now, three, there's always the three, I told you this, three questions, how much do I get back? How fast, if a crash and burns, how do I get my money back? Mm-hmm. Then never believe the fourth question, you got any stake in the game? Yeah, it's all my money. Okay, let's talk. Because if you ain't got stake in the game, why am I talking to you? Right. If I come to you, if, this, if you're, you're a friend for somebody else, I got to talk to who is. You know, who you're a friend for somebody. No, and I've had meetings with guys say, well, I'm representing. So I said, no, 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 no. I got to talk to so-and-so because I got to hear from his mother. He's got to hear from my mom. That, something's going to get lost through translation here, which often happens. Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm just saying. I admire those. You take the shot in yourself because if you, if you, if you hit, you, you share in the you know, rewards with your family. And if you fail, you take the hit. Mm-hmm. If, I mean, you, nobody else does. Right. And I've, I've lost more than I succeeded, but I've always taken the hit. So. But was there like, hey, you worked for us. Those are our clients. You can't take our clients. And, and was there any of that or like say, non-compete she's the one at the point at which we left when we left the, they were all our clients they were all paid advertising and everything that we were doing mm-hmm. um, sometimes within brokerages if you are working with a client that is a lead from a company there can be that but it wasn't our case yeah so it could have been a little bit more messy but for you guys it was but not right you know, usually, but like if you're working with somebody if you're mm-hmm. clients and 
Your well, I, let's say I'm, I'm like I own the company right. and you're my agent right. and you are representing the Jacobses right. and they bought a house 10 years right. ago. Now they want to buy another house. Right. Well, I could say that that's our client. But they say, but Kelly's been our girl. You ain't done that for us, Mike. Kelly's always done for us. Well, I would well, say she's, that's she's my, my company, dude. Name, name, name only. You ain't done that <laughs> well, for me. Well, we give her all the Kelly's supplies. Kelly's done everything for me. You yeah. ain't done it. What's, did you, you see what say, I'm asking, yeah. right? Okay. You so say, the broker well, could Kelly say. Well, Kelly's her own business. Mm-hmm. Well, she did. <laughs> did the, shock. the broker could say, you know, that was our client. You owe us a referral fee on it or something like yeah. that. So it's in the best interest of the client to let them keep working with the agent that they feel comfortable with, even if the agent leaves. But it's... The, that agent might owe the broker a re- referral fee. It wasn't our case, but it can be. Is there enough homes to go around? Oh, yes. I mean, it seems yeah. like there's way more realtors than there are homes. Uh, there's a lot of realtors. A lot of people get in and yeah. out of the business. It is something that, you know, has a low success rate, you know, for the amount of people in the business. Mm-hmm. What happens this time of year right now, our, our bill for our national and local dues comes due the same time as Christmas time and all that. Mm -hmm. And the people who didn't have a great year start getting out of the business. They don't want to pay the dues again. So it's time for them to hang up their hat. And then you'll see throughout the year, a whole new slew of new agents will come in. Right. But you're saying there's enough properties out there. There is. There's enough to go around. Yeah. Huh. What's the commission nowadays? Um, There's no set fee in the state of Ohio. There's not a lot to be price fixing or anything. So commission literally can be anything. So you you negotiate that with the the client? Right. Because Is everybody a little different or do you guys like, this is what we charge? Um, We offer, we call it client's choice plans. So we let the client pick. We have a couple of different tiers and a couple of different plans that we offer. Mm -hmm. Um, So we leave it up to the client. But basically anywhere between 5 to 7 percent is kind of our normal. But depends on the client and the situation and everything else there's like i said not a set fee is there i'm sure there are people that just want to sell it themselves Mm -hmm. they don't want to deal with the realtor they don't want to pay them the fees all that that stuff tell people why that's not a good idea or one but maybe it might be a good idea well you know if if you want to try it if your house is one of those hot neighborhoods that's going to sell in a day and you think you don't need the marketing or the advertising or the expertise (laughs) you know i mean take the shot right so yeah you know if if you want to give it a try i certainly don't fault anybody for that and if it doesn't work out for you and you need a professional we're here because we will do the advertising and the marketing and all that the other case would be where it would be not a good reason is there are a lot of legal pitfalls and rules on how to handle earnest money. They can't just hand you the seller $500 and say, hold the house for me. That has to be held in a non-interest bearing account. Right, right, um, right. And buyers and sellers don't always know that when they're working with just each other without an agent. There has to be property disclosures filled out even when you're the owner. Um, you still have to go through the title. Uh, so there's a lot that, that you don't know even when you think, well, I can just put a sign in the yard and sell it. And then there's safety issues. You know, somebody calls and says, I want to see the house tomorrow at two o'clock. And you say, we don't get home from work till five. Can you see it after that? Well, you just told the, the whole world that you're at work and nobody will be there. Right. You know, right. You know, when people go through the houses, are you, are you, how close are you with them to the rooms? Because when I, when I still house, uh, you think they have real tribute. Well, go, go through the house. I had jewelry stolen. Oh, gosh. Kind of, yeah. No kidding. A lot of jewelry stolen and stuff. I said, and I didn't realize, I said, you know, oh, oh, well, you know, and they go, whoops. Wow. And I'm thinking, wow, man, I, you know. They, That's not cool. No, they tell you to hide as much as you put away, which I thought I yeah, did. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't I did, leave I anything I did. sitting out in I plain did. sight. Yeah, I wasn't, yeah, but, thought I did. But there was in my closet and it was in an area, and sure enough, they were in there. Yeah. So what, I mean, and I'm thinking, keep in mind, the people looking at your house are allowed to go in closets. They're allowed to yeah. open kitchen cabinets. Now, they certainly shouldn't open dresser drawers. Right. Those aren't built in. They but don't stay. But you would stay. think that the realtor would be with them. The agent should be with them up, the whole time. Up in a bedroom watching For them. a private showing. For an open house, it's a little bit harder. You yeah. don't know who's coming. <laughs> you might be with it. one and somebody else might yeah. come in and yeah. those sort of things. But you know what? As a seller right now, technology has gotten so affordable. Those nanny cams and things yeah. like that. Yeah. You, you can have cameras yeah. in your house. Oh, at that time. And we yeah. You know, I mean, I I tell our agents in every house, act like you're on camera because you never know if you are. And it's the right thing to do is to act appropriate like that. Let me ask you this. uh, Speaking of etiquette, and I know I'm not the only one who does this, but don't, (laughs) I know, don't judge. Like, if there's an open house in my neighborhood, is it okay for me just to go yeah. to the open house people and see what's the inside their house? Yes. People do not and have some of your Oreos? Yes. You know, yes. You know, yes. Is that cool? <laughs> no, many people cool. in my neighborhood are sold out in LA. I didn't want to see what your house looked like inside. So you come yeah. to the they open house. Walk through the house like, do I have to pretend like yeah. I'm there to look at the house? No, I mean, when or it's can open I just house say I'm day, curious you can just say nose. I'm a neighbor, I'm checking it out, you know. You could say that? Yeah. Oh, good. And that takes a lot of lying away. I have neighbors tell me I'm a neighbor, I'm checking it out. I might know somebody who wants to. I work with somebody who might want to move into my neighborhood. Let's see what I can do with my house. 
Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see what they guys I could do at my house. Yeah. But when it's open house like that, anybody can That's come exactly in. What it so is. not every settler wants open houses because they don't want neighbors or looky loos or un pre approved people coming through the house. But yeah. um, if they're having an open house, you are certainly welcome now, to go. Now, now, Kelly, if you have you ever sold a house where somebody said, Hey, you know who lived next door? My case lives next oh, door. Oh yeah. <laughs> you ever do it? Or, or, or celebrity or, or, housing? Or you know or you know or, or you know who lived in this house at one time? Mm-hmm. Did you know Lauren Mitvig, Mickey Monus. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren Mitvig lived in this house at one Yeah. Time. You ever do that? You ever <laughs> get a celebrity selling? I, I have not. You ever really met any famous people? Because they do it all the time in LA. You know that. Yeah. yeah. You know, this was, yeah. You know, John Voight's Mickey house. Rooney, yeah, John Voight. Mickey Rooney's house at one time. Mm-hmm. Back in the, seven, back in the 1940s, that. this is where you know Humphrey Bogart stayed for six months. You know. Yeah. yeah. Not we here. don't. We doesn't, don't have too much of that. No, like no. That. no. We we've huh. got a few stigmatized properties where maybe a murder or a suicide Ooh, or something happened in the house. People have you ever been in a haunted house? About there those. she is, as we speak. Yeah, as we speak. Have I you ever been you, in a haunted house? I didn't know you were doing this. Do you I, think I, any I of your houses have been I don't know that I believe in that. So never have so, you heard. I mean, or I've walked into a house anything. and kind of felt the heebie-jeebies before. Yeah. So or maybe that's it. So some type of oh, it must have some type of energy. Yeah, yeah. Bad I, energy I do believe in good, good energy. energy. So. He's big about energy. Yeah. So the energy was not good. Huh. Yeah. All right. I don't. Just I, I believe in energy. Yeah. Good energy I, I do. I'm, yeah. joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I do, but I do believe in good energy. Better. I do yeah, too. Of course. Mm-hmm. You know, and you go into place and in the vibe. Sometimes, like you said. It's just bad. You just say, ooh, this, this ain't good. You get a feeling for something. Yeah. yeah. Have you turned down any houses in the last year? I mean, there's a lot of times when people are upside down financially. And so, you know, I might go and their house might be worth $100,000 and they might owe one hundred and twenty-five, mm-hmm. And they say, well, I owe one hundred and twenty-five, so we have to sell it for one hundred twenty. Yeah. Just because you owe that doesn't make it worth that. Mm-hmm. So right. to me, it's not going to sell no. and you're going to become a frustrated seller and you're going to be upset that I'm not selling your house and it's not going to be a good vibe for either of us no, you know not good energy right not so, good energy. so <laughs> sometimes we have to turn down those now uh, we usually do give them advice even if it's a listing that we're not taking like uh-huh. you can call your bank and ask for a short sale and say that my house isn't worth what i owe on it and see if the bank will allow you a short sale and then we right. can list it for you i see so usually for reasons like that gotcha yeah i mean i, I the short stuff yeah for things like that i mean it's you know look I mean, the Youngstown area, like I said, well, I, I told you, man, it sounds pretty good. It just sounds good. I think this whole Northeast Ohio. Yeah. Like yeah. Every, everything from Akron over. Avon, I mean, Cleveland. Well, first of all, Ravenna. very well-made houses. Mm-hmm. For this, you know. Yes. Because that's the other thing, too. You see, the, you know, they're the well-made. And, you know, and um, uh, certain, you know, I, I've never had a house that was brick. And you go with these old brick houses. Man, them damn things are going to be there forever. Oh. They are. They ain't going yeah. nowhere. I grew up in a brick house. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, what well, you got? Not like, the song. No, no. Just no actual, <laughs> actual house. You got a head like a brick. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, just, you know, you see some of the places, the quality they made. It's just, but then you want to go, and for a lot of families, young families, I mean, it's beautiful to see that they could get a nice home and stuff. Um, but, but uh, them, you know, but they don't, during the during the summertime, they ain't, that ain't the best because they maintain that heat, right? That's the yeah. whole Well, in the winter time, that's why it made brick. The winter time keeps in the heat, mm-hmm. right? Well, same thing in the summer. Oh, yeah. it's an oven. Yeah. Tell me, uh, I I grew up in one, no air conditioning. <laughs> oh no, the worst. Yeah. You the know worst. what we have a lot of in in those older houses that don't have the air conditioning. Those we have those attic fans, those exhaust. Yeah, fans. yeah, those help a lot. <laughs> Other parts of the country don't really have those. Really? Yeah. They they do do a good point. Good. Would you just say, is there any, would you just say, is there any thing in houses around here that you say other parts of the country you wouldn't have? Yeah. Like have? Besides uh, not everywhere has a basement, right? right. So when no, you're no, in LA, right. they don't well, have those most places, right? right. And Florida, then, you don't have basements. We have the strange, Youngstown into Akron and into Pittsburgh has the strange random toilet in the basement. They actually call it a Pittsburgh potty. <laughs> like, yeah, we do. They, we they have, have just, just a toilet. Not, not a finished bathroom, no. just a random toilet. There's nothing around the toilet. Yeah, just yeah. 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 sit there. So, yeah. yeah, we have that. <laughs> yeah, cause one things, things to brag well, about, right? Because if I, I'm doing okay because this new place. I was talking about the downstairs. We haven't done the basement yet. We're gonna have, we're gonna finish the basement uh, later this year. And uh, one thing's I want because I know certain things. You want the you know the family room. You want the TV room, game room. I want a game room, workout area. I want to build, but I want a cigar room. Oh. And I told him I said 
whatever area it needs one, it needs to open two areas because I want you need the gonna have humidor. Because yeah. You have to, you have, yeah, you're gonna have to vent. You have to go outside. Right. So we're outside. But a basement is less humid, right? So you're well, going, no, 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 and um, and you know and then you have a, a I, I don't want to say a bedroom or not, but it's an area people could sleep you know right yeah. but I don't want to get people to get you know too adventurous and think well it's just okay. they're right by your stuff is yeah, what you're yeah, saying not. can no, Kelly no, and I, I come smoke stay, cigars I don't want to think they can home. stay over there. yeah no no, no, no oh no, yeah no no stay too, no it's a place you can lay your head you don't, right. don't plan on staying too long can you put like one of those Scooby Doo bookcases in and and then it switches well, around actually, and goes into a room can you do that I would actually do yeah I guess you could do it like a speakeasy house speakeasy what a speakeasy yeah. That's but that's kind of what the what the room is. You don't have to push the like you know they push it to get to the cigar room, whatever. But it'll be increased. Yeah, no, you pull yeah, down the like sconce. sconces. Yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> yeah. That's what I would do. Wait, let's go over to race and smoke cartoons. cigars. You want to? Cigars, man. <laughs> right. Kelly smokes there. cigars like a fiend. Yeah. She's perfect that's for that. A, but I, I think it's a great for business purposes. You know, and, and at night you come down there, mm -hmm. you bourbon. My bourbon, get my bourbon, my, my cigar. Mm -hmm. Watch him boxing. Boxing. We're living the oh, life. Man. Mike, Mike. Boxing, boxing bourbon, bourbon, and boom, boom. Oh! oh that's the house. We just sold it right there. Oh, my gosh. You wouldn't want yeah, me to do that? Yeah, that's the self you, you, you are living the life. The yes, that, that's it. That's the title yeah. of your book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or there's, you can say, <laughs> now, there's a book here's title. You, here's you can say, people, you're, you're selling a house. Hey, you could do a cigar and watch boxing, have no. some bourbon. I'll get boom boom to come over. Yeah. Oh, I'll come yeah. over. We'll can we throw in the Browns? Can we have the Browns and what? the Buckeyes? The Brown, oh man, the Browns. Brown, Brown, those are my two Brown favorite Browns. Actually, climb next because I'm. The climb, they may make plans. What if they beat the Steelers this week? They didn't make it. Got, it's possible. And they beat this. They already beat the Ravens. But anyway, that's a whole different. Day. And the Buckeyes don't go. Anyhow, <laughs> see that's it. Right. Buckeyes. Brownies, oh, bourbon, and it's, it's, it's a whole smorgasbord of bees. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, anyway, I'm, right. getting, my, I'm out of questions, Kelly. Uh, no, okay. but no, no. <laughs> no, but what? Uh, 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 we're going we're good. Fine. No, fine. But what I'm saying is that. Um, but what? So when people go, in, I remember when the 80s, when people or, or the 90s or 2000 people in LA, they had a whole thing about. You know, they have a whole section for real estate section, LA Times. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's looks it's as bigger than what the L, it, it, the real estate section is bigger than the Vindy's, Vindicator is now. Right. It's just it's just it's just this. It's the whole thing. So what's the three quid? Bedrooms, kitchens, and closets. What? Uh, what it? There was a seat. There was a, like a uh, um, like priority uh, list. That you could say. It's the kitchens. You know your kitchens. They said kitchen and bathroom oh, well, models are kitchen, like the number one. Kitchen, bathroom, and that. And closets, right? Yes. That's the three things you really want to watch. Bedrooms are going to be what they are. Cause, but the kitchens, you want what you always spend. Right. Time. The closets, you got to have closets, right? Yes. And the bathroom, you got to have your back. Yeah. People are, well, the kitchen, like you said at your house, you want it to be the heart of the home. You're going to spend a lot of time there. Where bedrooms, I can tell somebody if, if I'm showing a house and somebody's complaining, oh, the bedrooms are too small. Literally, you walk in there and close your eyes. What, what do you need it to be? Well, that's exactly <laughs> you know? what you want. Well, that means yeah. your other rooms are bigger. Wouldn't you rather bigger? have those square foot right in the mm -hmm. other rooms? Well, it's funny you said that because that's exactly what I said when I wanted to go, oh, man, the bedroom office small. And I said, then I looked at the closet. Oh, this closet is small. Well, now they put up the walls. Because it was just, was just a frame. A right. frame. One and one. I said, oh, man. My wife said, well, bigger. She goes, no, Raymond, you got the bigger truck than you think. When there is, it's, oh, man, it's pretty good. This is pretty big. You know, and you get the shelving. Isn't that funny in a new construction when you walk through and it's not finished? It does seem smaller right. than right. when it's finished. And the bedroom is, like I said, it's not as big, but it's it's, it's a bedroom. I'm going to have my bed, take a sleep, and right. boom. Yeah. You ever walk through a house that you absolutely hate? But then you come up with words like "this has character" <laughs> and stuff like that. You ever do that? Um, I try when I'm showing a house to not say, you know, what'd your mom tell you when you were little? Like, if you don't have anything right. nice to say, don't yeah. say anything at all. So um, I try not to say anything too negative when I'm showing a house. Um, you know, sometimes you you love a house, and so then it's easy to talk about it as you walk through. And when you don't, then you find other things to say, especially if you know your client and you can tell that they like it. Mm -hmm. Well, then it might work for them, even though it doesn't work for me. Right. And I can still say things like, you know, I'll look out the windows and say, oh, the neighborhood's well maintained or, or whatever I can find. It Sometimes they do have good character uh -huh. or good bones. Uh -huh. Like, you can work with it. You can do things down the line. So... You know, it's it's got good bones. You, you can spin. start with bones, it, right? I like it. Got good bones. <laughs> you got to spin. It. <laughs> it's got the chops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Does it make sense? Because yeah, it's technically got good bones. That's what I, I look good for bone bones. structure. Cheeks. Cheeks. You know, cheeks, cheeks. cheeks. Mandible. Do you look at? Do you look at her ankles? Huh? I, oh yeah. Oh, who does that? Oh, totally. Friends of mine do. Who no, does that? No, cankles are a who deal breaker. Oh, I broke up with a girl because of cankles. <laughs> but no. It, but it, I will not I have it. Couple, I remember used to say, the pretty girls, I said, yeah, I can't date her. Why? She's got thick she ankles. Yep, I agree. Why? I agree. Who looks at, I mean, oh, look at me. Oh, no one does it. Got that pretty <laughs> smile, the beautiful eyes, and you're looking at her ankles. Stop, <laughs> stop. There's something. Yeah, I know. If you want to hear all the yeah, yeah. nitpicky yeah. things but, uh, I've got in so my So last thing. So, okay. The, what people should be looking for when they walk into a place to buy, the, the three top three things you look at. Well, really, it depends on what their priorities are. Mike and I did a segment on Valley Spotlight about um, investing in, in properties and flipping and fixing homes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we talked about nothing's really a deal breaker. Like if the house has a leaking roof, that can be fixed. Nice. If it has a bowing wall, <laughs> that can be fixed. Now, if you don't have the money or the time or the resources or, you know, the people with the know-how to fix that, then maybe that's a deal breaker for you. But it's not always a deal breaker for everybody. So, I mean, I, I would say good bones and good foundation and stuff like that is what most people would want a house to have. Yeah, but right. it, it's not a deal breaker for everybody. And, and if you could, walk, like I said, you could knock down walls. Something yeah. you could say, you know, go in and if you could, could that wall be knocked down? Yeah, you could take that wall. Okay. Yeah. So some people, like, some people in the neighborhood is the most important or the school district yeah, or the location. Yeah, good, is the most important point, good point. Right. really I'd, I'd actually say overall location is the most important yeah, if if i find the house that you absolutely want and it's in liberty and you're telling me you have to be in canfield your mother-in-law's in canfield the kids go in canfield schools i can't talk you into buying something no, in liberty no, right. even if it meets all the other boxes it's not in the right location right. you know so i i guess i would say location is their number one thing and yes, then it's number one of everything right yeah, yeah and then business. what's your needs and what works for your family what what works for you might not be the same thing that works for me what you do given with the you know what is the, uh, the need or the want Yes. You know, what do you, you know, we yeah, do that. Yeah, the needs so, tell me the things that you have to have, right. and then tell me what you'd like to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, you know, a lot of times they'll say, well, I'd like to have a swimming pool. Well, we can add one of those to any house. That does, so. does that add value to a house? Uh, not really. No. That's, I, no. no that's what you said, Dale. It didn't add... No desirability else. sometimes, but yeah, want, even right. when I'm selling a house with a swimming pool, it's about 50-50. Yeah. Some people want it and will find and that, well, value in it, and some people time, don't. They want small kids, and I didn't want, you yeah. know, I, and yeah. I don't have to worry, so it was a perfect day. I don't want to worry about that. Yeah. Well, there you go. Um, Pretty informative, huh? Yeah, I, I, I look, I thought, well, I knew... I wish I'd have talked to him before I bought and looked at right? this. Right? No, Me too. No, I, I kind of, <laughs> you know, you kind of going, no, but you're right. You kind of, you, basically it comes down, you say, you like what you like. The area, I like the area. Pond, I like to be a pond. It's close to yep. the arteries where I want to be. Uh, you know, I, I mean, we got neighbors. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not looking at the back woods, which I'll be, I either want to be looking at woods or the water. I'm mm -hmm. not doing neither. So it's like, what are you going to do? You're close to but both. That's okay. I'm close <laughs> to both. I can drive by. That's what people said in Santa Monica. I'd say, I used to drive. Oh, you go to Santa Monica Beach? I said, I drive by it all the time, wave at it. <laughs> I'm not a beach guy. Come yeah. on. But if we want to see water, it was there. So I think it's the same thing. Right. You know, I'm close enough, like you said. But um, I'm excited. I'm excited to be after first year. But. Um, there's something about having your place. It's your home. You know, I, when you're renting, it's like, uh, yeah, it ain't my place. I, I How long did ideas. you rent? Pardon me? Did you rent for five years? Well, it'll be, it was going, well, it'll be five years, yeah, yeah. Wow. And, Mike, I thought, I didn't think I'd ever want to own again. Coming from L.A., I so don't want to own. But, you know, when you come back, you realize, bang for the buck here. And mortgage is sometimes cheaper than, than it rent. It usually yeah. is, yeah. And yeah. you get something for and it. You, you'll earn you equity in your right. property where I you said, don't I didn't think I wanted to own again. Because I want to be flexible. I want to be able to shut the doors and leave. Yeah. That's why I'd like one rent. You shut doors and leave. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, you can still do that stuff. But if it's like I said, if it's, you're in the area, but if you get what you want, you still can do that. But it's not, you're not too much house. It's, it's the perfect size with four, boom. And then, you know, I like neighbors. People say, I want to be so good. No, I like neighbors. Yeah. So, anyhow. Um, great. Good job. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much for your Thanks time. Thanks for having Appreciate me. I'm it. excited. Thanks so much. Uh, if, uh, again, <laughs> hey, let her promote the uh, business for a sec. Please. Yeah. Oh. Go well, ahead. Thanks. Yeah, do the phone number, do the website, do the whole thing. Uh, anybody looking for real estate needs can give us a call or a text at 330-717-2689 or online at kellysoldit.com. Kelly sold it. Kelly sold it. Com. Kelly sold it. Com. Kelly How far out would you go? Uh, like, what do, if somebody in Florida is listening? Can't uh, do that. We're right? only licensed in the state of Ohio. Okay. We do generally an hour within Youngstown. Okay. 
There you go. J our the surrounding areas, yep. right? So you said you go into PA too, though? No, right up to the PA. Because border. you said Ohio, up to the PA. You have to be licensed Ohio. in states, Ohio, correct? correct. Oh, okay. In Ohio. Okay, got Coming that. in the future. There you Eventually. go. Oh, <laughs> if anybody, if anybody uh, has any ideas for the show, and you think that uh, anything you'd like to hear or see or suggest, like I said, any future shows, please let us know. Hit us up on our, our Facebook page, email us, and let us know what you think. And if you have any comments about today's show, please, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you tell my mic wouldn't shut up, I. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll try to calm. We'll try Remember to navigate that area. Took it over for a little bit. Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. He come in and okay. he got out. Yeah, it was about the guy coming in, coming out, getting in. He walks out. I, I don't know. All right. We're all over the joint here. Blue cheese all over but, his uh, fingernails. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, he, if them that <laughs> shit that if that that chicken wasn't dead, it, he killed it. He killed it. But uh, anyhow, uh, thank you for spending uh, time with us here at uh, Ray's Boom Boom Room. In beautiful downtown Warren at the Sunrise Inn. Yeah. Uh, if you ever come in the area, come down to Kenny. Kenny will take good care of you. Kenny and Darius and people do great food. If you're known for the food and the hospitality, so stop in. Have but a good Thanksgiving. Apple. Oh, geez, right. Man, thank you. Yeah. Have a good holiday. Be, yeah. be, yes. Thanksgiving this week, Thursday. Oh man, I'm glad you told me. It yeah. is this week. It's it's just, no, no, no. What I'm gonna say. At a later I'm gonna say. If. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I like th my favorite holiday. Oh, morning, what other holiday Christmas. is a nap encouraged? No, I, you know, <laughs> that's the best. There's football on. I, I, I like, I like, you know, because it is what it represents. As you get older, I think it's become more of about giving as, a, as opposed to receiving. To and uh, if you know anybody who's going to be um, alone this Thanksgiving, please invite them over or see if they could have somebody invite them over or spend some time with them. If you know anybody on the street, the homeless, uh, and you have an hour you could spare, maybe go down to the uh, mission, downtown Youngstown, um, uh, anywhere worn here, and feed cause, uh, feed the, the homeless, because I believe it's tomorrow. They usually do the dinners the day before Thanksgiving at lo local missions, check into it tonight. Um, or just as I said, friend like it's gonna be by themselves. There ain't nothing worse than being by yourselves on a holiday, and specifically Thanksgiving, which is a day of giving thanks. So, have a wonderful and happy Thanksgiving. G give thanks for all your blessings that you have. Uh, truly, truly is a, is a beautiful time to be alive here in America, in, in the one best country in the world. Darn right. Where else Lo would you want lovely to Lovely state of Ohio. <laughs> Beautiful city of Youngstown, Warren, Tr Trumbull, Mahoney, Mahoney County, Poland, Tri County, Tri County area. Yeah, area. Erie. Tri area. Tri County. No, I said Erie. I said Tri County area is what I meant to say. <laughs> but uh, see, that didn't come out quite the way I had it in mind. We knew. We got it. But anyhow, um, enjoy. Happy, wonderful holidays. Kiss your kids. Hug your grand. Call the elderly. P invite someone who's elderly to your home. Don't let the elderly be by themselves. Don't please, because. I'll be there hopefully someday. That's mm -hmm. true. And, you know, I'll remember, I'll re remember Don Rickles. Well, I got to be good friends with Don Rickles. God bless his soul. Don Rickles used to, at the end of his show, every show, he'd say, please don't forget the elderly and our children. But please don't forget the elderly because someday we will be there, God willing, and we hope that our children will not forget us. So, true. On that note, God bless you. Uh, take care of each other, love each other. Good night and God bless.